that's the best way to go but if you haven't just do your best man always do your best whatever the circumstances are. So I turn my foot off the gas, yeah I just been looking around I'm trying to see what we at, yeah Yeah, yeah Cause I see him all in the stands, yeah I see him showing me love I feel like it's part of the plan, yeah Blessings all around me now, yeah Even when it's looking down I got a reason I can smile uh, God had it from the jump, yeah Way back What's up guys, Liam here Welcome back to LSJ TV we are down at UFB for a full day today. You might see a familiar face, well not a familiar face to the channel, but a familiar face to the, the bodybuilding scene, shall we say. I think you might recognize this guy. He's gonna pop up here and there in today's video. We aren't filming with him today. We will be later on in the week. You guys have that and much, much more to look forward to in the very near future. But for now, drop this one a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Also, before we crack on with the video, let me know in the comments a suggestion for a challenge, a suggestion for a video just in general, blank canvas. What do you want to see me make next? Let me know. Yeah, so I took my foot off the gas. Yeah, I just been looking around. I'm trying to see what we at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I see them all in the stands. Yeah, I see them showing me love. I feel like it's part of the plan. Yeah, blessings all around me now. Yeah, even when it's looking down, I got a reason I can smell. <laughs> So, you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, that I am a home gym bunny. I'm a home gym guy, born and bred, right? So for me, having that environment, especially at that point in my training, was something that I will be thankful for forever. Literally forever. I will never, I don't think I would be doing what I am doing, I know for a fact I would not be doing what I am doing right now, as in talking to you, making this video right in this second, in this gym, I would not be stood here in this moment if it was not for that home gym. That is how deep it is, right? So, it's always gonna have a special place in my heart, but this is not a home gym versus gym gym kind of video. This is a free weights versus machines video. We're gonna have a few people, a few familiar faces, explaining the pros and cons of both to you, right? Because it's all well and good, it coming from me, We've got people like Sai, we've got people like Dorian Yates to explain this to you guys. So, it's going to be a good video, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And let's get into it. Free weights versus machines, Sai. Hit me with it. Okay, so when I first started training many years ago, it was all about free weights. But as time goes on, gyms sort of evolve, equipment evolves. You'll find the equipment now second to none. It's a lot safer than using free weights, especially if you're training by yourself. And also, uh, it's, it's, I think it's, uh, it's easy on your joints rather than sort of throwing weights around. Uh, if you look at some of the equipment at UFB, like the Atlantis stuff, the Hammer Strength stuff, it's all ergonomically designed so it's, um, you get replicates of free weights. So, for example, chest press there, you come out wide and you come in close, so that sort of replicates a dumbbell press. So, I would say for now, I would definitely recommend machines over free weights, especially at UFB. You like anything here. I'm saying free weights versus machines. Yeah. It is nice to do a free bar, incline barbell press. It's one of my favourite exercises. So scrap what I said earlier. Hey, a beautiful day. What a time to be alive, yeah. I take the joy and the pain, and then I'm giving you the vibes, yeah. Shout out to the homie shop, cause we coming through with the try, yeah. We've been on the come up on the ground like how we do with you. Just don't never let the money make you Life is all about to give it, take and try and give away, I never break through And everybody in the day one, so I celebrate on my day two Yeah Take a look inside, take a look inside Give you peace of mind, give you peace of mind Leave it all behind, leave it all behind Yeah And I promise you can find it I've been down, I've been up All around, all at once but now I know just what I want Cause I know I got enough, yeah I got everything, yeah Cause I got everything I got everything
they both have a time and a place, right? And that goes without saying. Of course, there's a time to use a machine, there's a time to use a Smith machine, there's a time to use a machine like the Panatta right behind me, like the Atlantis that is right here. There's a time for that, but there's also a time to hit some solid incline dumbbells. For me personally, in my training right now, I am making the most of the brand new stimulus, right? I've always had an incline dumbbell bench, but I've never had access to an Atlantis multipress. For me personally, even though I just wrote this plan, I'm adjusting it for the next few weeks so that I can get a kick out of using all this new equipment in a place like UFB, right? Having said that, do I feel like I would be in the position I'm in without the foundations of the regular exercise, the dumbbells, the barbells? Absolutely not. They both have their time and their place. That's enough of me talking about it. Let's go to some experienced faces for some advice. You may or may not know this face, ladies and gents. Um, What's up? He's here to give you a few tips. Free weights versus machines. What's your thoughts? Well, they're both tools to put stress on the muscle and they have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, advantage with free weights is that they follow the natural pathway of your body. So if I do a bench press or if you do a bench press or Simon does a bench press, it will follow a slightly different pathway depending on our limbs and even how you might be tight in a certain area that day. So it'll follow a natural pathway. Uh, where a machine's in a set path, doesn't matter if you're six foot tall or five foot tall or you've got short arms or long arms, machine is the machine, so it follows this path of the machine. Um, but they both put stress on the muscle, so they're both useful tools. Uh, machines are good because you can control. Um, if you've got an injury, they're good to work around injuries. You've got control, you can easily do force reps and possibly negatives on there where with the free weight that might be awkward. So in my view, free weights are not better than machines. Machines are not better than free weights. They both have their uses and I've used uh, both of them, free weights and machines. So it's more like what you do with them than uh, the actual uh, equipment. So what about training with a, with a partner? Or would you always prefer training with Personally, somebody? I always like to train with a partner because for safety reasons, and if you're training HIT, which I recommend, and you're going to failure, then you need somebody to spot you to just get that last rep, forced rep and so on. Um, if you're training alone, then you have to be careful. Certain exercises are can be dangerous if you're on your own. So for instance, bench press, uh, you don't want to get stuck under that. So you can use dumbbells and you can just dump them if you go to failure. So yeah, ideally, if you've got a good training partner, that's the best way to go. But if you haven't, do your best, man. Always do your best, whatever the circumstances are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which has been awesome, like I've already said, right? But it's primarily free weights. We've got a leg press slash hack squat machine, right? But other than that, it's a barbell, you know, it's a half rack, there's cables and all that kind of stuff, but primarily barbell and dumbbells or the power blocks, right? And it's also like Dorian said, machines are machines, right? And I'm a funny shape. I'm quite short, quite broad, for a shorter guy, right? I'm only about 170 centimetres tall. I'm not a tall guy. If you ever meet me in person, don't be disappointed. I'm not a tall fellow. But until now, or at least until a few weeks ago, when I joined this place, when I started training here with science stuff, I wasn't that fussed about machines. I never really had that much experience with them. But over the past few years, I think they've really developed proper ergonomic proper proper bits of kit you know you've got the new atlantis bit but even the panata machine over there i love that machine i'm obsessed with it absolutely love it. it just feels the connection is just so good right i have never felt a connection like that from a dumbbell or a barbell it's a completely different kind of feeling or even a cable fly you know that is the best chest fly slash lateral raise obviously thing that I have ever used. But over the past few years, these machines that, you know, if I ever just went to a, a regular commercial gym back in the day, I would feel, it would just feel funny. You know, at the uni gym, it was, it was cheap equipment. It's not good equipment like this, you know. I would feel funny on it because 
I'm a funny shape. And so obviously machines are built for the average Joe. I'm not your average Joe. Uh, your average Joe is probably a few inches taller, short arms, all that kind of stuff. I'm a short guy, right? So using a machine that is built for your average Joe when you're not your average Joe, if that makes sense, always in the past anyway, held me back from it. But since coming here, I've opened my mind a lot more to it. But they both have a time and a place. And that just so happens to be the same opinion as six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates. And that's that. I'm not going to say any more. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you had to pick one, what would it be and why? If you had to pick one machine or one exercise, or if you had to pick between free weights and machines. Let me know in the comment section, what would you pick and why? Let's get a conversation going. Thank you so much for all your support over the past few weeks. I really, really appreciate it. There'll be plenty more content coming in the future with Sai and Dorian. I'll be filming a session for them and it'll be going live on the Ultimate Fitness channel or Sai's channel, not 100% sure yet, but it'll be going live somewhere and it'll be made by myself. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Show some love to all the links in the description box down below. That is where you'll be able to find everyone else that's been featured in this video if you have enjoyed this one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much. Every cool thing that I'm doing in my life is because of you. <sighs> what a day, eh? What a day. Okay, together we will grow. So I cut my foot off the gas, yeah. I just been looking around. I'm trying to see what we had, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause I see him all in the stands, yeah. I see him showing me love. I feel like it's part of the plan, yeah. Blessings all around me now, yeah. Even when it's looking down, I